For this particular lesson, we are going to graph the linear equation y equals 2x plus 3. Um, oops, alright, so, choose a pen, y equals 2x plus 3. Um, the first thing we should do is make um, a table of values. We can pick any, um, any numbers we want for x. And so, since there's no unusual fractions, I'm going to recommend we go with the same three that we've been using in class, which is negative 2, 0, and 2. Um, again, though, those are just suggestions. You can use really any numbers you want for x. And <clears throat> just going to put the, the body of the equation right in here, 2x plus 3. And then just rewrite that, putting in whatever I've got there for x into the equation. So. Here it's 0, and then here it is 2x. Okay, so again, each time just substituting, uh, oops, choose the right thing here. So since we picked, uh, here's our x, and we picked negative 2, 0, and 2, that's what's going to go inside here for each of the x values. <coughs> Let me calculate, and I have no problem if you want to calculate this mentally or use a calculator just to double check. But 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, plus 3 is negative 1. 2 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3. And 2 times 2 plus 3 is 7. These become ordered pairs uh, negative 2, negative 1, and 0, 3, and 2, 7. And that's how we're going to graph this line. Um, on a coordinate plane, which I don't know if this computer has. Ah, it does. All right, so we're going to take, I'll insert a coordinate plane. Uh, here we go. And hopefully I can move it with this. Nope, can't. Um, zero. All right, let's see if we can move this. Up. Can move that. Maybe. Maybe. Here we go. <clears throat> so those ordered pairs that are now hidden behind this, but I can see them right here. Negative 2, negative 1. All right, so I'll go back here and grab something. Um, negative 2, negative 1. So negative 2 for the x value and negative 1 for the y value. And I'll put a point there. And then 0, 3. So 0 movement on the x-axis up to 3 on the y-axis. And then 2, 7. 2 over on the x up to 7, which on this one goes a little off the grid here, right there. You can connect it with a line. Um, this thing never has the kind of line I want, but <clears throat> let's see how we do here. The best you can is run the line through those points. Uh, make sure that you have a arrowhead on both ends. This one has it on one side, but not the other. There we go. So we've graphed the line. Again, it's important to remember that the line represents all the solutions. We happen to graph one, two, three of the solutions, but the line is representing all solutions for this particular linear equation right here. Um, again, linear, having the word line in it, it's just an equation that graphs a line. Now, to double check this, we can take, whether we have a graphing calculator or a website that has free graphing calculators on it, I'm going to look at the one um, I've suggested to you guys before on my website. If you go down to the resources page and then scroll down just a little ways, it's one of the first links there. And then we click Graphing Calculator right here. We have to insert the equation. So the equation was 2x plus 3. So we'll do 2x, and it does a double x. That one is the multiply. It's unfortunate they used the, they didn't come with an asterisk. All right, so we got 2x, so it's 2 times x, right, plus 3. And it graph. Take a look at it. You can zoom around. You notice that it falls right there at 0, 3. It has another point over here about negative 1 and a half on the x. And if I take a look at the one we graphed, 0, 3, and again, about 1 and a half, uh, negative 1 and a half right there. So I think I've graphed it correctly. But better than even um, the graph of the line is to look at the table 
of values. I'll scroll down a little bit here, create table, and I can see that here for negative 2, they had negative 1 for y. So we have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 3, and 2, 7. So it should match up what I have. Um, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 3, and 2, 7. So I know that I did do this uh, correct. And that's one way to graph a linear equation using um, uh, solution points that we pick values here for x and find out what the y is. I graph those points. Again, a minimum of two, three or more that would be on the safe side.